வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு திஸ் வீடியோ ஆன் பயோ மெக்கானிக்ஸ் வி வி டிஸ்கஸிங் பயோ மெக்கானிக்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஹிப் ஸ்பெசிஃபிகலி வி டிஸ்கஸ்ட் த அனாட்டமி ஆஃப் த ஹிப் ஜாயிண்ட் அண்ட் த மூவ்மெண்ட்ஸ் தட் ஆர் பாசிபிள் இன் த ஹிப் ஜாயிண்ட் டு ரிமைண்ட் யூ தட் வாட் இஸ் த ஹிப் ஜாயிண்ட் தி ஆர்டிகுலேஷன் இன்வால்விங் த ஹிப் போன் or the rather the acetabulum of the hip bone or the socket of the hip bone with the long bone of the thigh there is essentially only one bone in the thigh that is the femur which is a long bone the head of the femur or the ball of the femur articulation that is called as a hip joint right responsible a very crucial function is weight bearing and weight bearing during dynamic activities such as walking running jumping and so on and so forth all those things weight bearing movements forward backward movements is said flexion extension medio lateral movements or sideways movements abduction reduction and rotation internal and external rotation this is what we saw in the previous class in this video we will be looking at muscles of the hip so what are the muscles that are responsible for these movements that we just now discussed what are these movements flexion extension abduction reduction and rotation most of the muscles insert on the femur that makes sense because that is the movable more movable part it's not like the hip is going to move by itself and the hip is the more proximal part yes. so the insertion of most of the muscles is on the femur or the thigh bone and they move the thigh bone right and they rotate it and they orig- so the origin of these muscles mostly is on the pelvic girdle is on the pelvic girdle very so there are very large muscles some of these muscles are relatively big huge muscles okay so the origins of most of these muscles is on the pelvic girdle the insertion of most of these muscles is on the thigh bone or the femur okay the so as major and iliacus together form what is called as the iliopsoas group right the iliopsoas group co- comprises of these two muscles one is the psoas major and the other is iliacus the psoas major is responsible for flexion and lateral rotation okay what is the origin look the origin is the lumbar vertebra relatively more superior structure so somewhere in the spine right? not somewhere in the spine it's not that far if we go back to the the hip this is the sacrum and this is the tailbone that is the coccyx and this is the lumbar spine okay this is where the muscles originate and this is where they attach so through the back anterior view right so so as major and iliacus they are present this is the at- attachment and uh, this is a uh, attachment yes. right and the insertion is on the lesser trochanter of the femur okay the iliacus also is responsible for flexion and lateral rotation this originates on the iliac fossa and the iliac crest and the lateral sacrum so going back somewhere here on the back side on this somewhere here and the attachment is on again the insertion is on the lesser trochanter of the femur this is only one of the many groups of muscle this is the iliopsoas group then you have the big muscles that form the muscles of the butt some of the largest muscles these are called as gluteus maximus gluteus medius and gluteus minimus okay 
these are among the largest muscles and they are also among the most powerful of the muscles within the human body okay this is called as the gluteal group or the muscles of the gluteus or the glutes to be short okay so the most superficial the the largest and the most superficial is the gluteus maximus muscle more deep is the gluteus medius and even more deep is the gluteus minimus muscle okay the size also reduces as it goes deeper something to keep in mind there's one more muscle which is the tensor fascia latae this is the muscle that's more square like that is found on the side of the thigh right on the lateral thigh on the side of the thigh okay it's a synergist to the glutes and the iliocervus its its purpose is in flexion and in abduction of the thigh okay so gluteus maximus its purpose is extension of the thigh its origin is in the dorsal ilium and in the sacrum and the coccyx a relatively big muscle okay its insertion is on the gluteal tuberosity of the femur iliotibial tract so again a relatively large muscle gluteus medius its function is abduction its on its origin is on the side of the ilium lateral surface of the ilium insertion is greater trochanter of the femur gluteus minimus is the more deep muscle relatively smaller its function is abduction it's on the outside or the external surface of the ilium or the iliac bone and its insertion is on the greater trochanter of the femur and the other muscle is tensor fascia latae its function is flexion and abduction it is found on the anterior aspect of the iliac crest and uh, anterior superior side of the iliac spine and the insertion is on the iliotibial tract so so what you are seeing is function that is performed by these muscles are abduction extension flexion abduction yes. right. we're not done yet because we have only seen abduction so far there will be some adductors of the muscle right adductors of this muscle these are adductor longus adductor brevis and adductor magnus these are the muscles that are responsible for adduction movement towards the medial side the other uh, role is also to rotate the muscle on the side or rather lateral rotation right depending on the placement of the foot it is can also do lateral rotation the adductor longus flexes the hip or flexes the thigh rather flexes the thigh whereas the adductor magnus extends it okay some other muscles we are not discussing because these are discussed along with the muscles of the knee joint because it turns out that there is an amount of sharing that happen between these muscles and their functions uh, this leads to a relatively complicated relationship in biomechanics or biomechanical relationship between the hip joint and the knee joint how the movement of the one can affect the movement in the other joint something that is better discussed as part of the discussion on knee joint so uh, with this we come to the end of this video in this video we discussed the muscles of the hip what are these muscles the muscles of the iliosaurus group the glutes and the adductor muscles with this we come to the end of this lecture thank you very much for your attention mm -hmm.